previously on race. This place is big. The scale is big. The track is big. The stakes are big. The next guy I want to bring up here is Hayden Swain. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is racing in this race. Go show him what Hayden Swain can do in front of all these people, all right? He's got his sights set on Junior and the front of the pack. I went to fire up the car and it wouldn't fire. Not even trying. All the way to the wall behind the white car. All the way to the wall behind the white car. The car sounded a little bit off and looking at my gauges on the dashboard, they were all dark. Like they're all dead, they keep cycling, like turning themselves off and trying to get it to work, but nothing's working. And boy, I gotcha. And I kind of had the feeling that something was going wrong. And... Green, 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 green. Everybody's rolling, everybody's rolling. Outside, outside. It's like I'm hitting the wall, but I don't think it's the chip. Maybe losing the battery, still outside. All the work that we had did to pass all the cars behind us was like undone in a hurry. And the problem was just getting worse and worse. Like it was limiting my top speed more and more. And eventually it was to a point where I was barely able to just put around the place. Oh, and look at this, the number four car losing position almost as fast as he was gaining position earlier. 20 laps to go. It's looking like another heartbreaker for the rookie Hayden Swank. If they're all around, just stay up on it. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. This got really bad, really bad. I think battery is going to stone us. The alternator just died on us, and it was just not able to keep the speed, keep the power supplied to the engine, to the wheels. All right, just bring it around to me next time. Bring it around to me next time. I've been racing for a long time, and I've never had an alternator just go bad on me for no reason like that. Not in the middle of a race. Drove a hell of a race, man. I was, I was just kind of at my breaking point. There's nothing anybody on this team did wrong, nothing. And yeah, I'm just, I'm thankful for that. I love that, but we should, we should be sitting with the top ten right now. And I'm just absolutely gutted we're not. That's about as disappointing as it gets right there. It's just so much, man. It's just been so much. I just wanted somebody to notice what we did tonight. Like, we did so much right, man. It's just, I just hope we proved something and that we were, we were meant to be here. There was nothing handed to us either. We just went up and got every uh, little thing. You're doing great, buddy. You should have a lot of confidence going to your next race. Sometimes I love to hate this sport. I love, like, just making myself better in this series and in racing in general. I love the competition aspect of it, and I love running well. But at the same time, I hate this sport when it's just so cruel. That was the one right there, too. That sounds so bad to say, but I wish that was in a million pieces <laughs> running 10. <laughs> Makes it easier to deal with at the end, don't it? Even when you do everything right, sometimes there's just parts breaking, parts failing, just bad luck that just ruins everything. And I just, it just tears me, tears me apart. We're all gonna be asking what if for a very long time. Yeah, last time we were here was probably one of our toughest points we had in, in the season. One more, give me one more. I can still see the, the tire marks and the scuff on the wall from where we hit. I, I feel like I've completely forgotten how to drive. I mean, that was really, really a low point for me. I just like felt like I completely lost it. And like for a while there, I think I did. 
I just cannot! I cannot! It all blew up in our faces. This can't be happening! Not again! I I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You can't expect to come in the very first year and like dominate or not. You gotta learn it. Definitely a rocky road for everybody involved getting caught up in the in the wrecks. Some of them were are doing it, some of them some of them just have to. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh! Hayden Swank caught a huge piece of that. Was there any indication uh, of the situation going here into turn one? Uh, just really wish our night wasn't over right now. Dang. You don't forget how to drive. It's in there. Like I said, you just got to have the confidence to, you know, know that you can do it and make that car do what you want to do. And I've, I've seen that now, you know, you're proud of it for getting back on the horse and getting back after it. I really started to figure it out. Good. You sound a little bit happier. I thought, oh, you, you know, you ain't forgot how to drive this thing. Fastest all day. There you go. Turn. Go, 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 go. How did that feel? Fantastic. Hayden Swank is absolutely flying through the field. This is unlike anything we've seen from him all season. Now I have an idea of how to get us better. That's it. Uh, through the weekend and stuff, so. You know, on to the next one. If you told me three years ago that I was gonna be, you know, racing on the Cars Tour, I probably would have laughed at you. You know, I didn't think that was an option for me. Thanks to overtime and GM, I've been able to, to make it happen. General Motors, new effort, bring us your talent, wants to sponsor you for the rest of the season on the Cars Tour Series. Woo! <laughs> oh man, this thing looks clean. It's really cool that your sponsor with the Bring Us Your Talent program can help get people that want to learn and work on cars, you know, how to help them learn about the technology that it takes to work on stuff in today's world. It's really cool to see what the uh, GMA SEP and Bring Us Your Talent programs can do for technicians. What's your favorite part of working on the cars? I guess get to learn something new every day. General Motors technician recruitment effort, Bring Us Your Talent, is an amazing career opportunity and provides a path for students like yourself to become a world-class GM dealership technician. This is a high-tech career path that allows technicians the chance to work on the advanced computer systems that power automotive technology. Welcome to the future of automotive performance. These things are beautiful. And if you think this is cool, wait till we get to our next step. So this is a 1962 Chevy C10, but we redubbed it the E10. Just the concept of retrofitting old cars with new electric crate technology is really, really exciting. That's pretty right there. We moved to the newest Chevrolet Camaro body and it looks sick. If it wasn't for people believing in me, like GM did, I certainly wouldn't be doing any racing, let alone what I'm doing now. So I'm always grateful to them for that. When the bad weeks hit, when you go through those rough spells, it definitely make you really question why you keep doing it. But when you look at how fortunate you are to have these opportunities and to get out here and race, it really is pretty cool to put that into perspective. Clap for sync. Hayden gives the best sync claps. Overtime all-star team, sync clap position. There we go. Vintage swing clap. Anyways, cut to OT break. Hey Hayden, congratulations on your new sponsor. Thanks Megan, General Motors hooked it up. So what is Bring Us Your Talent? Bring Us Your Talent is GM's new technician recruitment effort in order to support Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Cadillac dealerships. Check it out. Wow, becoming a GM dealership technician sounds like an amazing career path. It is. Technicians get to work on revolutionary technology at GM dealerships all over the country. Scan the QR code to find out how you can become a certified GM automotive technician at bringusyourtalent.com. FanFest this race, they decided to do the like trunk or treat type deal where uh, the kids get to dress up, wear their costumes and like go visit all the drivers um, at their car in the costume, which is really cute. You know, we give them candy and then we sign cards for the fans and stuff. I like the wings, the wings are cute. I like the scarecrow outfit. Thank you. Very cool. You too, Captain America. All right. Oh, you have fun tonight, buddy. This might actually be the coolest one. Really? 
Well, you need a new favorite to root for tonight. You gonna root for me? All right. How are you liking the four, Aiden? Yeah, we've had a tough go of it. We're just really, really, really tight, so. Yeah. When we run good, I like it. When yeah. we get our butts kicked, still ain't that bad. It's just it's all a part of learning and stuff. But. Yeah, we'll get better. Yeah, cool, you're going. So I got to talking to Sylvester. You know, his car was parked right next to me. And I mean, he's a super nice guy. He's definitely a really talented driver. He's won, I think, a race or two on the tour in the past. So he definitely has talent, but I feel like he's kind of in the same position I am. Are you Are you still in high school? Or are you a college, like out of I'm a senior at UGA. UGA? Yeah. Man, okay. Yeah, you go to VT, right? I'm a VT. Okay. So, you know, you know, like how it is to get off of weekends and, and to get out of school and do all that. So. Yeah, I am. I I have exceeded my absences so much at this point. Yeah, I'm just. I, know. I got this one professor, uh, and she's like, I, I gotta have you here every single day, and I got her for three classes, six hours a day. If you put it up to talent, I'm sure he would have a full-time ride somewhere, but. He only got to race like three or so races this year just because of a funding deal. It's a lot, so much. And it's so much commitment too. School kind of got in the way a little bit, and then like, like funding got in the way too. I, I, had to, I had to cut back this year. Hey, I understand. I didn't, like my freshman year of college when I was 18, yeah. I didn't race at all. Yeah. Like nothing. Yeah. So just hang in there, man. Talking to him kind of reminded me a little bit of my own journey, um, being in my sophomore year of college, thinking, you know, I was kind of working out of racing. I wasn't ever going to get the chance to race again just because I didn't have the money um, to go racing. Uh, I got to get this test done. This final. Nothing's going to be my best test ever. Get it? No, they don't. Well, good luck, Katie. Yeah, you too, yeah. man. Best of luck. We're coming to the end of the season. You know, it's been through a lot, a lot of highs, a lot, a lot of lows, but you know, we never gave up. I mean, we fought for every single position we could get. Fire it up, fire it up. Definitely a crash course, trial by fire in a lot of cases, but you know, I think we're a lot better than when we started this year. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for an incredible season. It's been, it's been awesome, dream come true. And I really appreciate y'all coming to work with me every week. Let's go close it out. Yes, sir, our pressure, our pressure. Let's end it on a good note here. Go have some fun. Green, 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 green. And the Commonwealth 225 is underway. Everybody's rolling. There you go. Got one outside, outside. Clear, clear, clear. Nice and smooth. Roll in there. Go get another one. Like, just my aggressiveness, I think, is really, really increased because, like, there'd be times at the beginning of the year, Red just like kind of back out of passes, or I wasn't like ready to, you know, be super opportunistic. But I think from that standpoint, I have gotten a lot better. There you go, roll to top. You got her inside, inside, inside. Clear, clear, clear. Good drive. Oh, big Fire. problems! Fire. Chad McCombie up in flame in turn number one. Back it down, back it down, back it down. We got one blowed up on the front. I've never seen a late model go up in flames like that before. His car blew up and it blew up big. Luckily, he was okay. Nobody seemed to be hurt, but it did take out a few good cars for sure. Yeah, racing will break your heart. No matter how much you prepare, sometimes you just want to hit the fan. No warning whatsoever. The car was really good, man. Holy cow, that uh, the thing was a rocket off the bottom. Like when that happened to Chad, that was like the perfect example of it. It doesn't matter like who you are or like what team you drive for every now and then you just you just going to be on the the other end of it i guess that's racing still in line good job hit your marks clear by one good job race the ball looking looking but clear barely there nose inside clear clear Coming to the checkers, 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 checkers. All right, back her down, back her down. Physically, this tour will take it out of you. When you're going place to place, week to week, practicing for days, and still trying to get back and forth doing school, I mean, it definitely gets to you. I 
I see a lot of things about Hayden that other people don't get to see. Um, people don't realize how much time he puts into this. Phone calls and interviews and I, I see him becoming professional, you know, in, in how he handles himself. Um, it's not just showing up at the racetrack and hopping in a race car and, and uh, going and running. So um, I'm really proud of him for that. I felt like I set the bar incredibly high coming in. I knew these guys were the best, but I just didn't realize what the best looked like. He even told me after the first race, he's like, y'all told me it was gonna be hard. He said, but I didn't know it was this hard. Me as well, this is the first year I've run the tour fully. I didn't realize how much of a grind the full tour was gonna be. Well, it's, it's just all about growth. Now take this experience and, and move it forward. And you know, now, now that you had this, now it's time to go compete. Right. You know, Go compete with these guys, because I know they can. I know they can race with all these guys, and um, that's the next step. I think moving forward, this was just like reassuring for me that I think I have everything I need to you know, start to succeed at this level and in this series. I think this was a good learning experience just to get my feet wet and you know I think the perfect way to show that this you know season was definitely worth something would be to run it back next year and show how far we've come. Play is over, we're going racing now. On the track is the four Hayden swing. Go, 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 go with it, go with it, stay with it, ride it. And keep fighting, stay on the wheel for me. Oh, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The overtime shop, duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.